Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush here's another vlog for the week. Starting out, I'm actually gonna head up to New York in the daytime, finally. Although it's raining, it's raining hard. I'm gonna try to go fish a river later this afternoon. And then I got that little issue to deal with the uh, township up there, Brownsville, Dexter, Fish Ladder, all that. It's all coming up. All right, I'm driving. So something pretty crazy just happened. I wish the camera was going. I'm on 81 and literally in front of me within 300 yards a pine tree falls over into the right lane and that was the first car to come upon it it stopped right in the middle of the highway so i could go around it very easily but that could have taken me out i was within 30 seconds of that tree hitting but i guess it's pretty windy out I was hoping to do some fishing, which I, I'm going to. All right, my SD card ran out while I was on the road. Anyways, I made it up uh, doing some exploring. The river's come down a little bit, but it's uh, it's blowing, it's windy, and it's cold. Keep searching for something. All right, so the trout fishing adventure yesterday was just that, an adventure. Did not catch a hole, didn't catch anything. but. I'm still learning. I'm actually sitting right here uh, looking at Lake Ontario right now. And it is cray cray out here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to step out here of the vehicle. Um, my buddy Kent called me up. We're thinking about doing some steelhead fishing in a little bit. But I'm not too motivated. And then I also found some property I want to look at. Uh, some duck hunting property. So I might do that either today or tomorrow. So we got a few things going on. It's not a waste to trip up north. But it is crazy out there. I'm going to take you out there right now. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I know it's a little dark. Apologize. It gets dark early up here. Uh, today's the big day. I have a court date with the town of, with the Brownville Town Court. If you guys don't know, I got sighted for fishing near a fish ladder back in October. And it's really not even a rule on the book from what I can tell. I prepared a very large uh, bunch of paperwork, notes, uh, maps, because there was about 30 of us fishing in this fish ladder 100 yard radius and I was the only one that got a fine. So, and the guy that was with me, Kent, his charges got dropped last month. So I'm expecting the same results, but it's still frustrating I have to go through the system to deal with this. But that's what we're going to do. I also looked at some property today. It was uh, 140 acres, not too far from where the house will be. And it has tremendous opportunities for, uh, of course, deer hunting as well as waterfowl. It has basically most of the property is nothing but ponds, lakes, little lakes, I would call them. And uh, it's definitely going to be a legit thing. So I'm going to put an offer in on that and we'll we'll see what happens. So let's, let's head to Dexter and uh, go talk to the judge here. All right, it was a little dark last night to tell the whole story, but court wasn't as uh, cool as I thought it would be. It literally was, I was picturing a judge, you know, up here and some, some uh, you know, where, where the defendant sits and then you got rows in the back. No, we had a folding chair and a couple uh, push chairs for the courthouse. But nonetheless, it it was kind of funny, I, Kent was there and Kent, they they uh, found Kent not guilty last month. So they recognized him, they kind of made a joke. So all this preparation and everything I had laid out, they didn't even like take the time to look at it. They're like, okay, you're good, not guilty, drop the charges. And uh, I was all bummed out. So. As I was leaving, I told the judge, 
I go, just so you know, I'm going to go back there and fish. If I'm found not guilty, I should be able to fish there. And uh, then I started showing them some of my paperwork and stuff. And uh, they kind of laughed in a way. But then they said, you should do what that guy over there there did when we uh, said not guilty. He basically picked his stuff up and left. You're not guilty and you're still talking. Uh, you had to be there. It was fun. So uh, I'm just taking my waders off here. I had a, a good day. You know, I'd never fished this river here before. And I, I caught... I, I caught one fish. I caught one steelhead. I'll see if I have any clips. I had a little chesty on. So I'll play that right now for you. And then, uh, where is that camera? And then I for, for sure had three other fish on. Two, I just, I hooked them. They were on for about five to 10 seconds. And then another one, I had them for quite a while but he just came on button so that was cool we caught a couple caught one steelhead had three others on so i don't know the adventure continues here i don't know where my camera went I'll go figure that out i guess Because I, I don't know what happened. I tried to hit record. You know what I'm saying? I lost one, man. Well, it's a different game. Steelhead fishing. I really like it, though. Nice to see this river with a little bit of sun. And uh, perhaps you can do a little sight fishing. I, I don't know. Or at least see them, perhaps. Maybe they blend in too good. I, like I said, I'm learning as I go. But that one broke me off and that shouldn't have happened. Just shouldn't have happened. Maybe I'll change the bead color a little today. That's a cool color. Mars bead, 10 millimeter. I'll go with that. So that's how I've been spending a lot of my time untangling, uh, getting my float out of trees. Yeah. Don't don't let me fool you. I still suck at this. Well, today I packed up everything I wanted to uh, get rid of for the auction. So we're ready for that. And then an order from the real shot just showed up. We look at here. Um, this is going to be crazy. This is why I had an auction because I need to make room for some other stuff. Ice fishing stuff. All kinds of goodies here. Oh, it's going to be a lot of work. So I opened the first box here. Got a lot of my Mac scent in colors that I really like. Um, I had a lot of success with the uh, Little General this past season. So. I'm stocking up on all that. I know it's early, but I want to get all that stuff situated. I see a bunch of all kinds of stuff. Spoons and salmon here and this one. I don't even know. Now the fun begins. Unpacked everything. As you can see, it's a lot of salmon and trout items, some ice fishing stuff. Some uh, smallmouth stuff, believe it or not. Spoons, my line for ice fishing, and then, of course, some line 
uh, for salmon, steelhead. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work to put all this together, but that's part of the fun of it, I guess. Want to see something cool? Uh-huh. Check out all these spoons I organized, dude. Uh, what do you think of this? Boom. Uh, cool. You like? I like this one. Which one? This, um, no, this one. Oh. Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. Okay, we got Christmas tree to go with, I guess. <laughs> this is it. That's the oh Christmas. Oh my God. That's the Christmas tree. Why? Do you like Christmas trees? <laughs> All right. I guess I got to put that up now. Hey, good morning. So uh, today's a big day, big auction tonight on Smallmouth Crush Live. But in the meantime, it's really early right now. It's like 3.30 in the morning. I'm uh, packed up some stuff. I'm actually going duck hunting today. We're heading down to uh, New Jersey, uh, Southern New Jersey, and go see if we can find a few birds. So I'm gonna head down there and uh, we'll do some filming and let you know how we do. Yeah? Of course my gun jams. So this steel shot's like I don't know. Ten years old. The shell's got stuck. I'm gonna upgrade my shotgun for next year, I promise. We had a good hunt actually today. I'll show some footage. We, uh, the tide wasn't right for the birds to come in and feed right away in the morning. So we set up some diver decoys and uh, we had some good, good birds come through, some uh, buffle heads, a couple nice drakes. And then we uh, set up for some brant later. Just wanna give a shout out to George for the invite, Nick. We're hanging out with us today, putting us on these birds. It was fun. My first, uh, I don't think I ever shot a Brant. I shot at him in uh, Cape Cod, but I never got one. And we ended up getting, uh, getting our limit. All right, time to get back. I got that auction tonight. Hope to see everybody tonight on the show. Well, the auction was a success. We couldn't auction off that brand, but I tried. Might have freaked Eric out a little bit. Anyways. Okay, good news. I, I skipped a weekly vlog because I thought that this camera right here that's filming me, I thought I left it in the marsh during that duck hunt. When I was cleaning out the truck, somehow it fell in the back of the bed in the storage box there so good to go don't have to buy another camera Other but hey how about those steelhead at least I salvaged I think I got some footage I lost the camera steelhead fishing too by the way it was this magnet clip that goes on your chest well somehow I didn't realize it but I must have moved funny and it came unhooked and fell I kind of backtracked my spot my, my walk a few times and I couldn't find it so I'm down a camera at least I'm not down two so that's about it for the week. I'm just settling down. It's Cole's birthday tomorrow. Drink a little bit of wine. We got a big party tonight. As always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. Do I end my vlogs that way? 
I can't remember. 